Hello there. In this video, I talk about what I have learned about using Traceba insulin. I have used insulin Traceba for several years now. Traceba is a long acting or basal insulin. It's active well over 24 hours, which means that you need to inject it only once a day, which I find a major advantage. Uh, in this video, I talk about several aspects of Traceba insulin and I have sources to the medical literature in the links below. Traceba is actually uh, a brand name. In the medical literature, this type of insulin is also known as insulin Degludec. That name relates to one of the biological building blocks of this insulin called Degludec acid. Traceba is prescribed to people with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Research showed that Traceba has two main benefits for people with type 1 diabetes. One is that it improves glucose levels or glycemic control. And the other advantage is that it reduces the risk of hypoglycemia. Traceba can be taken any time of the day. You only need to take it once a day, but you need to think about what is a good time of the day to take it. So for example, if you decide to take it in the morning, then you need to take it every day in the morning. Make sure that there are around 24 hours between each uh, injection. So you cannot take it one day in the morning and the other day in the evening. You need to decide on that time slot. I personally like to take Traceba in the morning so that it is part of my morning routine and so that I'm sure that I don't forget it. In the past I've used it in the evening and for that I actually used my mobile phone and I just uh, set an alarm to remind me. I think that the advantage of taking it in the morning or late in the evening is that you then don't need to take the Traceba pen with you to work or wherever you go during the day and that's just one thing less to think about. How much Traceba to take per day is something you need to discuss with your medical team of course as always. But many adults with type 1 diabetes are used to varying their insulin dose, the, the fast acting dose, depending on how much they eat and how much exercise they do. Personally, I also feel confident to choose uh, a Traceba dose that I think works best for me. My experience is that it takes careful monitoring using a, a glucose monitor to find out the best do dose of Traceba. Well, once you have found a good dose of Traceba, you likely can keep using that same dose for a long time. At least that's the case for me. How much you exactly take depends on several factors. Uh, one of them is body weight. So it will be different for everybody. But apart from body weight, uh, the amount of Traceba depends on the amount of exercise you do throughout the day. In a uh, medical research study from uh, 2018, it was shown that multiple exercise sessions over the day reduces one's need for Traceba. So in that study, uh, the average amount taken by participants, so the average, was, uh, was at first 19 units, but they found that when the same participants were doing uh, something like an hour of exercise throughout the day, uh, they used uh, an average of 14 units and that actually worked better in terms of sort of like glycemic control throughout the day. So that, that I find it quite interesting. Uh, the link to that research paper uh, is below the video. So have a look at that. What's really important to think of is that when you switch from another insulin, from another long acting insulin to Traceba, you might need to reduce your daily basal dose. About that is a link below the video. Because Traceba lasts long, so it stays for in, your, in, in your body for more than 24 hours, 
uh, a change of dose might not have a noticeable effect for the first two days. So if you change, uh, you need to, to wait some time before you can actually figure out whether it actually did the thing that you wanted it to do. The medical advice, and again, uh, link below the video, the medical advice is that if you want to make adjustments to your Traceba dose, you should change only once weekly in two unit steps. But of course, again, I mean, how that works out for you is something you need to discuss with your medical team. One Traceba pen has 300 units. So if you take 20 units a day, you need around two pens a month. If you use 10 units a day, you will uh, almost last a whole month on one pen. I find that Traceba works well for me. I've used it uh, quite some time now and it keeps it gives me a uh, stable profile and it clearly prevents severe hypoglycemia. But of course, Traceba doesn't do that whole job, I suppose. I guess what really also helps is the glucose monitor that I'm wearing. And I made several videos uh, about that. What do you think about Traceba? Do you think it's it's good for you? Or are you currently using another basal insulin and you might think of switching to Traceba or maybe you have discussed it with your medical team? Leave your comments below the video and please do not forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel because that helps the YouTube algorithm to uh, you know, show this video to other people who might be in a similar situation as you are. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon again.